So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of Speed and team to Dr. Uh, Shobit Gurg for scoring uh, rank number three in AML, rank number five in CML, the specialty of DM gastroenterology in any SS April session 2023. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you. So can we know a uh, detailed background of yours from where you started your career until date? Uh, uh, sir, I did my uh, UG from King George Medical University in Lucknow. And uh, from then, uh, I did my MD medicine uh, from Mamsi Delhi. And uh, I was from 2020 to 23 batch student. And I gave NISS uh, this year and I got third rank uh, in DM gastroenterology. Now, uh, what the, why DM gastroenterology? Why you want to do DM gastroenterology? Actually, in our college, we got to uh, know uh, a lot of exposure about the gastroenterology cases, both hepatology and uh, lumen disorders like, for example, decompensated CLD and uh, chronic hepatitis, like hepatitis B, hepatitis C and uh, vast exposure of cases to acute variceal bleed complications of cirrhosis as well as malabsorption syndrome. So I got uh, fascinated with these disorders and uh, in second year onwards, I, uh, my interest in gastroenterology became more and more. So first I was confused between, between cardiology and gastroenterology. But if, uh, since second year, I uh, got oriented to go forward with gastroenterology only. Uh, so that was the time when I started preparing for this exam. Sir. So what was your preparation strategy? What did you do to achieve this? Uh, sir, I started my pre preparation in the late in the second year. And uh, I first I started uh, preparing both for NEET SS as well as INI exam. So I uh, focused uh, on both on gas, uh, general medicine uh, as well uh, questions because the pattern has changed uh, since last year. And also gastroenterology and uh, hepatology from uh, uh, sledging some part from sledging and some part mostly from the notes, sir. And then I gave periodic uh, tests uh, from from the concerned. Uh, uh, specialty like gastroenterology, hepatology, and general medicine grant test, and uh, that was the basic uh, preparation, sir. So, how many hours you used to spend because you are in a residency program? How many hours you used to spend per day, or what in a week? Uh, sir, in the second year, we uh, used to get free from the rounds at around uh, two p.m. in the afternoon, and then we had to go take evening rounds also. So, I was able to get around uh, two two and a half hours a day to study. Uh, then the third year uh, when we got relieved and uh, we used to take less evening rounds. So I was able to study more for around four, four hours in the last uh, three to four months uh, before this exam. So how, how did you uh, do it when you used, used to watch videos or I mean, how, I mean, how, I mean, did you able to complete all the videos? I mean, how was your preparation going yes. on? Yes, I used to see the video. I actually uh, saw the videos and uh, same day or the next day itself, I used to read through the notes also. So I, so the things got consolidated in my mind. So I, I basically, I uh, revised it, the videos two times and uh, I gave a periodic grand test to consolidate and add to the video knowledge so that uh, the some lacunae, if they were there, they, they would be completed by doing the question bank. Uh, and sir, I read uh, some parts from the uh, textbook also, Schlesinger, uh, some hepatology and uh, malabsorption part from there. So what's the content, the resources which you, you have been going through, was it appropriate for this exam? Yes, sir, they were appropriate uh, for uh, stage one. Uh, they helped me a lot, sir. And for the stage two interview part, I saw the ISG masterclass videos, Indian Society of Gastroenterology, in which they uh, present cases, the DM residents present cases, and we get to know about the practical approach to diseases, like approach to dyspepsia, approach to uh, dysphagia, and approach to chronic hepatitis. So that helped me a lot in the interview sessions, because it built up a practical approach towards the diseases. So what's your pr preparation or the exam was primary exam, a CNESS exam or a NEET exam? Uh, sir, uh, initially I was preparing for NEET SS only, but uh, so I was uh, reading about the general medicine uh, mainly. But since last three uh, to four months, I have uh, focused more and more on gastroenterology and hepatology as my interest grew. So uh, in the last uh, three and four months, I uh, read more more of gastroenterology and hepatology. And uh, earlier than that, I used to focus on general medicine. Sir. How many questions did you attend, doctor? So I attempted uh, 78 questions. Maximum. Uh, two I left. Sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, what will be your advice and message to the juniors who are aspiring for uh, DM Specialty Program 
and you are the most one of the most successful person because even before you could complete your residency in pg and you have a seat in your hand and there is no time lap uh, lapse uh, between your uh, pg and superficiality so i think you had a meticulous planning well in advance that you started your preparation in second year i congratulate that for you and it has paid off actually and it has really paid off so what is your take on that i would suggest that uh, we get a lot of exposure to cases in our general medicine residency program so i think it is there that we develop our interest in the field in which we have to do dm uh, early if possible because uh, that helps uh, you to uh, plan the further course of action very good so uh, like i was first year, i was confused between cardiology and gastro so in the second year i made a uh, decision that i have to go for gastroenterology only so i was able to start early and uh, would think that in the mid or the late half of the second year would be a good time to start the preparation and along with the rounds like the cases we see regularly we uh, can start our preparation from the, by retrospectively by seeing the cases and then reading about them in the books and uh, after uh, sorry the late in the second year we can start a structured uh, program starting with the videos and the notes and also the standard textbook uh, as much as we can read and uh, periodically is it giving test is also important to consolidate our knowledge so i would advise uh, to uh, start early if possible and uh, uh, late in the second year would be the good time to start consolidated preparation sir now uh, time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to thank all of them so i would uh, first of all i would like to thank my family members who uh, have always supported me in this long journey because it is a long course Uh, bec- uh, after uh, MBBS and MD then DM, so they were always prepared that it would be a long journey. So they uh, always supported me, uh, and uh, sir, uh, my faculty members in college, uh, my professors, respected professors who were always supportive and uh, very taught us and made us uh, 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 made us uh, uh, made an approach towards uh, the subject. Like uh, they uh, taught us in the rounds during rounds, they used to teach how to approach a patient. so that uh, builds up that helps to bring, uh, build more of more of interest in a particular field when you get to know an uh, approach towards a patient and uh, so then i would like to thank uh, coaching platform uh, speed uh, speed uh, uh, from which i gave grant test and that uh, helped me to uh, consolidate my knowledge and the references were also very good from the questions they were from the standard textbooks and they uh, helped me to The, from the uh, notes which i read they helped me to uh, uh, complete my notes and uh, add to my knowledge which helped me in the exam finally great doctor interacting with you and thanks for your time and uh, once again we congratulate you appreciate you and we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career uh, in dm gastroenterology and as a gastroenterologist you are going to touch many lives and save many lives for that thank you sir advance wishes to you thank you sir thank you very much Thank you, Doctor.